Hey you guys, it's Amelia. I made this presentation this morning to show you guys my favorite go-to base poses, tips on unposing, and then tips on um, getting clients comfortable in the first place. So, here are my top tips for getting clients comfortable. First, spend more time talking than shooting in the beginning just to get to know them better. Um, before you touch them, when you're fixing a pose, be sure to ask permission. Consent is super important. So if you want to fix your hair, you can walk up and be like, oh, um, is it okay if I touch your hair real quick? And then they'll say yes, and then I promise they will be more comfortable with you. Um, throughout the shoot, ask if they're doing okay. If it's cold, you know, just ask them often. Make sure they're doing well and that they're comfortable. Feel free to make jokes and be yourself. The more fun you are, the more fun their pictures will be, and the more themselves they'll be in their photos. Always be positive and be a problem solver. If they picked a location and you get there and it just sucks, you know, don't make them feel bad about it. You have to be upbeat. You have to be positive. You have to be like, you know, be a problem solver. Go find a spot that works. Um, along with being positive, always giving them compliments, genuine ones. Um, compliment, you know, be like, wow, we're so lucky. The lighting is amazing right now or this background is beautiful or you guys are just so awesome together. Just like little things like that that will um, help them be more comfortable. Don't ever show if you're like frustrated with location or with them, even if you are, you just have to, you just have to go with it um, for the sake of their guest experience. So just read them and adjust. If things are working, you know, continue that. If they aren't, then don't do that. Some couples are really just comfortable smiling and looking at the camera as boring as that is. But if that's what works for them, you know, you just have to do it. So I'm going to go through like six or so base poses that I always go to. And these are just some little tricks that I use to unpose them. So that's to get the natural laughter, you know, looking in different places, the candid moments. Um, one of my favorites is just poke their ribs. So I'll tell the guy, or I'll kind of make a joke. I'll be like, I'll be like, which one of you is more ticklish? And then, you know, you just take it from there and then you'll get the laughs. Um, fake laughs turn into real laughs. If you um, ever have to resort to that, that's totally fine. I just like to move quick. I'll be like, like this couple right here in the in the picture. I'll be like, um, I'll be like, okay, Olivia, look at Jess. Jess, look at Olivia. Olivia, look at the ground. Olivia, look behind you. Um, this photo right here specifically, Olivia is fake laughing at my mom, and I just love the way it turned out. So you can tell them, be like, all right, for one second, let's just be serious and not smile. And then while they're doing that, you can't smile either, because then it makes it even harder for them. So everybody, even if you have you know, a helper with you. Nobody's allowed to smile for that one second. Um, it just makes it easier on everyone because it's already so hard to be serious. Some other unposing tips would be like fixing things. So in this photo, I might be like, Jess, fix Olivia's hair, you know, even though it's perfect or like pretend like you're fixing Olivia's necklace or Olivia, um, fix Jess's collar, you know, fix Jess's earring, whatever it is. Those just look like little cute natural moments. Um, if your client is wearing a dress or if it's a bridal session, you know, throw the dress around, get some movement, have um, an assistant throw the dress or the veil. It adds so much life to the photos and it makes them so unique and exciting. Something I love to do with couples, if the girl has long hair, is to have the guy make like fake wind with the hair. So if they are facing each other, you know, chest to chest, he will have his hand on her back and I will have him like flick his hand out so that her hair keeps flying so it looks like wind. And half the time it looks stupid, but a lot of the times it actually works out. And um, the couple usually starts laughing a lot because they think it's silly and they, they actually really enjoy it and it makes them more comfortable. Okay, so moving on to my base poses. My number one go-to is side by side. So they are just standing next to each other, almost shoulder to shoulder, holding um, those center hands there. And then I will have the girl hold his elbow pit and lean into him and look up at him and he can kiss her head and her forehead. Um... And then they can stretch out and be kind of far away from each other and then have them look in different directions. You can also get this with them facing the opposite direction from you. Um, and then they can go in closer and interlock their, their arms across each other's back, look at each other and kiss. Um, I use this as a base for spinning, walking, and twirling. So the upper right hand photo, that's one where they started with this pose and then he just lifted her arm so that she could easily twirl. Next one is face to face. It's a classic and be sure you're getting these from really close up and really far away. I know all of my example photos are like torso photos, but get them full body as well. Um, so face to face, I always have them hold each other's faces and you can, there's so much variation to that. Um, you can have them dance. I usually say like, okay, pretend like you're dancing in a steak dance and then they laugh, whatever. Um, different hand levels. You can have them hold their hands out to the side, kind of like an airplane and then like hold their hands into their chest, um, hands 
you know, relaxed all the way down or like hands up around the neck. And then this is an easy one to do like dip kisses or just like really simple sweet kisses or super, super dramatic ones. Okay, the next one is the spoon, whether the girl or the guy is in the back. Doesn't matter. If the girl is in the back, I call it a backpack. So if you look at the upper right-hand photo, her arm is kind of up onto his chest. I kind of think she looks like a backpack, so I usually that's how I describe it to them. Um, a piggyback usually comes from this pose, too. Bear hug is when the guy is behind, so upper left. You can get that from straight on or from the side. Um, and then an airplane, so bottom left. Um, they both hold their hands out, and then I tell them to just be an airplane, and they usually start laughing, and it's really fun. And then I will have them stretch their arms out, kind of like that Titanic, and then wrap their arms around whichever way is natural, as you see in the center bottom photo. Okay, sitting is my go-to because it's so comfortable for everyone. I always keep a blanket in my car. So my favorite one is the bobsled, so that is the upper left girl just sits between his legs and then he can play with her hair they can kiss you know they can look in different directions and then there's hip to hip like the upper right hand side um and then face to face this one is super intimate and i always ask them permission or if they're comfortable with it before i have them do it so that is the bottom right the girl kind of like just straddles him and then i usually um crop it in close enough that it's not like a bunch of awkward legs so it just depends on whatever your clients are comfortable with but I personally use the sitting shot quite often okay lifts and always ask permission because you don't know if like your client might have a back problem or something so just ask them if it's okay I actually had a client a couple weeks ago who couldn't even lift his wife and that was kind of awkward so you know just ask um the classic go-to is like that um bottom left there that foot pop lift it's so dramatic and it's so easy you can do like a cradle, like the upper left. It usually looks pretty dumb, but I actually like the way that one turned out. Um, shoulders or piggyback, they're up, you know, it's completely optional. You don't have to do these poses, but they can be super fun as long as you're getting the right angles. Okay, so traveling shots are like everything to me. So one of my favorite go-tos is a hip bump. So they are holding hands with that base side to side pose. They're walking towards me and then they're just kind of ramming their hips into each other as they walk. And I always tell them, I'm like, trust me, you know, it feels completely idiotic and it's embarrassing, but I will show you how amazing they turn out. And then I show them the photos and then they're like, from that point on, they basically trust me and they're like, that looks amazing. So it usually just adds like a laughter and a movement that you can't get when they're just walking towards you where it looks super stiff and uncomfortable. So hip bump is an awesome way to loosen up your pose. Um, I always tell the girl to walk like she's on a tightrope, so I call that the catwalk. So one leg in front of the other, it's super flattering on the female form. Another traveling one you can do is like running towards the camera and then ha or have um, the girl or guy like lead each other. So like the upper right hand photo, he's leading her. And then you can get these um, traveling poses from different angles, you know, have them going away from you, towards you, and then um, I guess parallel to you, I don't know. Okay, details are so important. Um, always get a shoe shot as much as I hate them. They are necessary. Clients usually take pride in their shoes. So get their shoes, get their flowers, get their rings, their faces, their hands, and um, you should be good. Okay, I always get a few individual ones. I can do, you know, full body, torso, headshot. I kind of make a joke for the guys. I'm like, oh, like you need a new LinkedIn headshot. And they usually just, you know, eat it right up and they love it. So, um, for girls, I love to have them like spin or also by spin, I mean like the bottom center photo. I will be like, all right, face the other way and then look back at me. And then I kind of just keep having them look back at me, like maybe even flip their hair as they do it to add some action to it. Um, for guys, you can be like, all right, adjust your tie, you know, put your hands in your pockets, um, like play with your sleeves, adjust the hem of your shirt, you know, just stuff like that to keep it natural. Okay. The session is about one hour, and this is just my order of events. I start simple, taking a light test, for instance. Um, then I tell them, if you think of any ideas, feel free to yell them out. Sometimes their ideas are dumb, but sometimes they can be amazing, so it's worth it. Um, when I give direction, I make sure it's like a fluid motion because that benefits video and me because I want those natural moments. I always ask the girl if she prefers a side. I know I have like a really bad side and then I have like a decent side. So I ask her what side she'd be more comfortable on. 
um, give them tips beforehand so that they don't feel like you're correcting them once you start. So I always say like do very gentle kisses because you don't want their noses smashed or their lips smashed against the other person's forehead. It just doesn't look good. Um, you know, keep chins down. Don't look at the camera too much. You can adjust naturally between shots, like whatever you prefer. Um, get more adventurous as they open up. Anytime you're stumped, just revert to one of the base poses. Be like, all right, um, go side to side. And then from there, you just tweak it and you pretend like you knew what you were doing all along. Um, at the end of the session, always ask, is there anything we haven't done yet that you want to do? This one is so important because then afterwards, they can't come crying to you like, you didn't get a shot of my shoes. Because I could say, you know, I, I did, you know, throw that out there that you were welcome to um, offer any ideas. Okay, things to avoid. I think it's so important not, like, not to tell clients what not to do. So if a client's doing something, they would get super self-conscious if you're like, wait, stop um, putting your chin like that. Because then they're like, oh my gosh, like what's wrong with my chin? Um, so instead of saying like, hey, don't do that face, be like, hey, like look over here, you know, just suggest something different, but don't ever be like, oh wow, that's not working. Because you don't want to make them feel self-conscious or uncomfortable at any point. So um, another thing I personally don't like because I'm super introverted is um, being put on the spot when I'm in pictures. So I don't like to put my clients on the spot. I know a lot of people will give the direction. They'll say something like, um, all right, now tell a joke. I, it might work for more outgoing clients and that's fine, but for someone like me, that actually kind of makes me panic. So instead of leaving like your um, direction kind of up in there, be very specific with what you ask them to do. Also, um, you know, I some clients love when you're like, all right, now dance, but some clients don't. So just read them. You know, if someone asked me like to just dance, I would probably freak out and not do it. So um, just read them. Some people love it. So if you're out of ideas, never let them know. Just revert to a base pose and then tweak it. Um, don't be afraid of trying something weird. Sometimes I want to try something experimental and I'll kind of be like, hey, I want to try this real quick. You know, it might not work. Worst case scenario, I'll delete it. And then they're usually like 100% for it. And a lot of the times it actually works out. And those are the shots that, you know, you love the most in the end. Um, don't ever just constantly look at a list. I like to refer to a list at the very end of the session just to make sure I covered all my base poses. But other than that, you know, be confident, just wing it, fake it till you make it. Um, and then also at the very end of the session, don't leave clients hanging. So a lot, a lot of times they'll be like, wait, like, are you going to send me a CD? How do I get my pictures? So be like, within three days, I will have a pixie set online gallery sent to your email and you will be able to download all of the photos that you want. Um, that way they just know what's coming next and they're not confused or, you know, they, they might feel awkward texting you and being like, oh, when are the photos coming? So just, you know, put it all out there in the first place to avoid discomfort. Here's a little cheat sheet you can take a picture of for when you're shooting. Just pull this out of your phone and be like, oh, side by side, face to face, spoon, sit, lift details. If you can think of an acronym, please let us know because I can't think of one. And then when in doubt, yell one of these out and tweak it from there. Get up close, get far away, and you'll be all good. All right, you guys, I know that was long-winded, but thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions, message me anytime. I'm so excited to see the work that you guys come up with.